Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khan, host of the Guys, and this is a quick look and first hands-on impressions of the Geoni E Life E8. In this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick impressions and overview of this device, and we are doing a separate review video. So stay tuned and make sure you hit the red subscribe button for the review video. Let's get started with this one. On the front of the Geoni E Life E8, you will find a beautiful Quad HD 6-inch display, which is Super AMOLED, and the colors just pop out the saturation levels, and the outdoor visibility is just stunning. The display looks very, very vivid, and it's one of the best displays that I have seen uh, uh, in this these large screen devices. In terms of build and design, this phone uh, looks impressive. It comes with these uh, physical metal keys on the right hand side the power wake up key in the middle volume rocker on top and on bottom you also get a dedicated camera key uh, this phone is camera oriented and you can long press this to launch camera below the display there are three touch capacitive keys on the front there is an 8 megapixel camera on top you have 3.5 mm audio ports two antenna bands a metal frame running all around the back is removable and comes with a 24 megapixel camera sensor here dual tone led flash and a fingerprint sensor which Geoni claims will unlock the phone in half a second. We'll test those claims in our full review and this is just a first hands-on so I'm not gonna test the uh, fingerprint sensor over here. This is uh, what seems to be NFC antenna and these are the connectors. You have two SIM card slots and both phones are, uh, both SIM cards are 4G compatible. You get a micro SD card slot for expansion which you may not require since it comes with 64 gigs of internal memory out of which you will get approximately 55 gigs user available. There is a speaker grill down here at the back. In terms of specs, this phone is part with a Heliox X10 2 GHz octa-core CPU has 3 GB of RAM and 64 gigs internal memory. And this is how the rear camera is like. This interface uh, is also fairly simple. And if you want advanced features, you just hit here and you get all these modes, etc. that you need. And you can also control uh, modes in a very detailed way going here in the uh, settings. There is a, a 24 megapixel sensor back there and let me take a few clicks. The shutter uh, speed feels very fast and let me quickly show you a capture that I've just taken. And uh, it seems nice and detailed. These plants are behind a glass so there is slight bit of haziness there. Good detailing overall and let me take a front facing camera selfie with the 8 megapixel shooter at front to give you a front camera selfie experience. And it is also capturing a lot of details from the front facing wide angle 8 megapixel camera as well. Priced at 35,000 rupees, this uh, heavily loaded phones looks like a good value but there is a lot of competition and we'll test out in detail how good it stands in our full review. If you want to watch our full review, please press the red subscribe button. This is all we have on a quick hands-on video. If you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And do stay subscribed. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.